as you stay in Jesus' presence? Will you dare to examine your shortcomings and your failures that you too might repent and be released from their burden? Will you look at the events of your lives during this past maybe two or three weeks through Jesus' eyes? Will you look at your relationships? Where in anger have you thrown the stone? Or secretly delighted in the shortcomings and misfortunes of another? Or maybe where are you still bearing a grudge against someone who did you wrong? These and others are the kinds of questions that Jesus asks you and me as he writes on the ground. But the great thing is, Jesus doesn't just ask the questions. I mean, it's marvelous that he asks us the questions, but it's even better that he just doesn't ask us the questions. You see, through his radical love and forgiveness, he offers to you and to me the answer to sin and the power of evil in our lives. He is the Redeemer, and He is our deliverance that breaks the cycle of sin in our lives and leads us in ways to live abundantly and triumphantly. He is the hope to break the chains of resentment and retaliation and violence and hostility. And that's what He did when He forgave the woman caught in adultery. It's what He did when when he spoke to that thief that was also nailed to a cross on Calvary. And he told them, today you will be with me in paradise. And it is what he can do for you and for me when we trust him and we allow him to let his love and forgiveness break the sin in our lives and help us to begin again but then also to work in this community and our local community and in the world, bringing forgiveness to the world. He allows us to truly write a new story in our lives. Now, what do you say? Today, will you begin to write the rest of your story with Jesus? Jesus. 